Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's John. Hey, I'm on my news desk and prop trading desk here. What a day. I mean, exciting times. Dogecoin, life-changing uh, econometrics for myself. I don't know about my followers, but uh, just on so well with Dogecoin and Ethereum and Bitcoin and Tezos and just so, so thankful. And then uh, the stock market's going to open up here in an hour, so it's a bit early for me. So, hey, today's Monday, November 11th, 2024. Do me a favor, give my video a thumbs up, a like, and a share. And please subscribe to my channel. Getting a lot of new subs here recently and want to welcome you to my channel. So stay with me to the end. You receive a bonus, which is my trading plan. First, I go over geopolitical news first, then socioeconomic news, and then I formulate a, a trading and speculation plan. Not financial advice. Read my risk disclosures below. Top story, Trump on Politico. Trump taps former immigration official Thomas Homan as borders are. Reuters. Kremlin says reports that Trump and Putin spoke in recent days are pure fiction. CBS News is reporting Trump names New York Rep. Elise Stiff. Fanic, U.S. Ambassador to United Nations, Associated Press Trump on day one, be in deportation, pardon January 6 rioters. So we got the geopolitical things. Uh, NBC News, Democrats hold hopes on Pennsylvania's uh, Senate race and Republicans declared uh, victory. And CNBC is reporting Trump tariff threats looms large on several Asian countries, not just China. So this being geopolitical news. So let's look at socioeconomic first, all right? Stay with me to the end. You get my trading plan for free. So, you know, Bitcoin, Dogecoin. I mean, I've been scaling into Bitcoin since 2019, and it's just unreal. <coughs> I just almost can't even talk about it. So my lowest uh, cost purchase of Bitcoin was as low as 3500 and I've been scaling out of about 25% of my profits in the last few days as it uh, crushed uh, over 80,000. More than that for a moment, time for a coffee break. Mm. So S&P futures are up. Crude oil's off about two and a quarter percent. VIX is up about to about 15 spot 29. Gold is uh, selling off 26.63 you know, off about 1%. So stocks are set to open higher as investors await U.S. inflation data and Powell speech. Stock market today, Bitcoin above 82,000 points to higher open for Wall Street with the stock futures. Carvana CEO says price declines and interest rates cuts should, it should make uh, used vehicles more affordable and the Singles Day Shopping Festival loses its shine under China's lagging economy. So should you sell stocks and Ford stocks massively underperforming GM and Tesla, you know, Solanus and just a lot of things going on with Ford. Their quality hasn't been so good. So let's go over major markets first. Okay, ready? S&P 500 E-mini up 23 points. NASDAQ E-mini up 77 points. Dow Futures up 184 points. The VIX again at 15 spot 30. The Dixie at 105 spot 55. 10 year. We've got to watch interest rates and Fed speak this week. 10 year is at 109 spot 260. Crude oil off $2 approximately at 68 spot 73. Gold 26.59 off $35. Silver hanging in there at $31 spot 11. So that's on the major market. The news stories, you know, stock market leaders, we'd like to talk about Tesla, NVIDIA, Apple Computer, Amazon, Microsoft, Eli Lilly, Meta, MicroStrategy, Palantir, and Coinbase. I own stock shares in every one of these companies. Uh, NVIDIA is doing great. Tesla, I own stock in Coinbase, Palantir, uh, so un unreal news, you obviously the price action with the breakout, like I had predicted on Bitcoin, the all time high for Bitcoin, I had wrote it down was 73,797 spot 68. 
And if you look back at my previous videos, I thought once we get a breakout above 73,797 spot 68, that Bitcoin was going to pump, and now it's uh, trading at well above 80, 81,000. So you're welcome. You know, it was a good, that was a good about 12,000 point pump. And I did the breakout trade too, you know, bought the breakout. And then now I'm scaling out of some Bitcoin. I'm not going to sell my entire position, but I always, once I make an earn a major lick in a capital market trade, I always go back into this. I'm going to be purchasing additional silver bullion today and placing an order for it with about 20% of my profits that I earned in Dogecoin, uh, Tezos, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. So you can see the links down below. I used SD Bullion. They were very good for me. They treated me very well. So hold on. Let's take a look at now what's going on being reported on Yahoo Finance. How Trump 2.0 complicates Powell's rate path, rate path at Fed. Economists are already scaling back expectations for the number and pace of rate cuts this year. So stocks are pumping and then the world central banks are lowering interest rates. And so we got to look at that and to see what's going on. There's a lot of people better and smarter about the bond market than myself, but I know that that uninversion of the yield curve and the lowering of interest rates is something to take a look at. Dow and S&P 500 futures signal the Trump Fed rally's not done. Trump's presidency carries plenty of market risk, experts warn. Dell Computer's off about 3% this morning. OpenAI pursues shift at risk shifting market for NVIDIA. U.S. orders TSMC to halt AI chip shipments to China. Amazon is developing driver glasses to speed up deliveries. News on Amazon, Tesla stock extends rally as Musk Trump alliances fuel gains. I own uh, stock and fair disclosure in Tesla. Japan to propose $65 billion chip plan. All right, Bitcoin hits record high as Trump election boosts crypto market. Italy's Intesa partners with BlackRock in private banking uh, scenario. Uh, let's say Nestle KitKat signs Formula One deal as CEO seeks broader appeal. EU invests $142 million in Deutsche Photonic chip, start, chip plants. EU is investing in chip stocks too. Cigna says it's not pursuing combination with Humana. All right, so these are hedge funds pile into banks, dump green energy post-election. So this is according to Goldman Sachs. Bitcoin tops 82,000 on Trump optimism. Bitcoin prices have surged since President-elect Donald Trump won the race for the White House, topping 82,000 for the first time. Got a breakout again on Bitcoin above 73, 74,000. Trump made several pro-crypto comments. So this is what's being reported on Yahoo Finance. So I got a lot to go over as far as my trading plan is concerned. I scaled into four cryptos. First, I'd go over cryptocurrencies, not financial advice, not a financial advisor. I scaled into Tezos, Dogecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. Tezos, I scaled out of the trade, not completely, but I sold about 70% uh, of my position in Tezos for a huge profit. So this is the fourth, tra fourth trading cycle in Tezos that's been profitable for me. And so today I will continue to dollar cost average Tezos and start the next cycle of, of trading and speculation. And Dogecoin, I've earned, a, uh, I was upside down, as my viewers know, negative 42%, and now it's positive uh, 43%. So I've seen a huge uh, equity swing and momentum swing in Dogecoin. Most of it's, you know, Elon Musk and Trump uh, bump type thing. Just in the last... Uh, the last year, Dogecoin's up 278%. In the last three months, Dogecoin's up 170%. And in the last month alone, Dogecoin's up 161%. So I sold a nice lick in uh, Dogecoin and as it pumped up 160% on me. And then I dollar cost averaged it and bought it, purchased uh, Dogecoin at the pivot points every time. 
I only like to average up. So this is a thing with uh, Jesse Livermore trading where you purchase the breakout and then you keep adding and, and pyramiding into a position. So I pyramided all the way into the top of Dogecoin position and then I sold it, you know, scaled out of the trade. Just unreal. So it's almost difficult for me to talk about I, I when I earned a, a major lick in a capital market like that. Ethereum has returned to profitability for me. I've scaled out of it on a huge profit. Ethereum is just incredible. It's up 20% in the last three months, and then also up about 30% in the last month. I got all of that for myself. So very thankful. I scaled out of some Ethereum, about half of my position, and will continue to dollar cost average ETH today. Bitcoin, you know, I own it as low as uh, $3,500, and I sold some this morning, you know, at, let's see, 81390 about 81400 What can I say? Huge profit in Bitcoin. I'll continue, again, I'm up 14% of my uh, Momo Swing account in Bitcoin, so I'll continue to dollar cost average Bitcoin, so that's incredible. And then my synthetic Bitcoin mining rig that I've spoken at length about. Look, first on the S&P 500. S&P futures are up this morning. I have a nice profit in that. I'm up about 3% in my SPY ETF. So when the market opens up here in an hour, I'm going to scale out of some of my profits in SPY ETF. And then at the same time, continue the dollar cost average in the trade. So every day today, every day the market's open, I dollar cost SPY. My synthetic Bitcoin mining rig that is comprised of the two blockchain ETFs. One of them is up uh, almost 14% today, BKCH. Had a huge profit in that over the last several months. So I'll scale out of some more of it today and then continue to dollar cost average it as well. Looks like a new 52 week high. So on the breakout, Jesse Livermore always said, you know, markets are never too high to buy. So I'll sell about a third of my position, but then I'll continue to chase it. It could go up 5, 10x. You never know. So BKCH, continue to dollar cost average it. And then Block, B-L-O-K. Man, this one's been a major lick for me. I'm up 14% in my position. I'll scale out of some of it today and take huge profits out of uh, Block, B-L-O-K. This is the Amplify Transformational Data Sharing ETF. I've talked about this at length, but these two ETFs are the foundation of my synthetic Bitcoin mining rig. It has two components, the blockchain ETF, so I've just mentioned, and then also, and, and then also uh, dollar cost averaging uh, Bitcoin in the cash market. So... I combine both of those and uh, the, my uh, synthetic Bitcoin mining rig I invented approximately three years ago and it's just incredible. I get to travel. I'm not tethered to any type of stock shares or any type of mining rig rather. I, can, I run it on existing platforms. So with that, again, <clears throat> just huge profits again in crypto, you know, Michael Saylor, I'm sure, is excited today. I own stock shares in, in MicroStrategy, Palantir. Look at these stock shares in the Global X blockchain ETF. Unreal. It's up this morning, like I said, about 14% in pre-market. New high for the year. So I own shares in TerraWolf. All right, let's look at TerraWolf real quick. Got to review this. Stock's up 5% in pre-market. Huge lick. I own Terra Wolf WULF shares have for the last three years or so. Iris Energy. Iris Energy stock is up 11% today. This morning in pre market. You know, institutional grade data centers, renewable energy. You know, so they mine Bitcoin. All right. Uh, Coinbase. Obviously, Coinbase, I own stock shares in it. It's up today as much in pre-market as about 18 19%. Coinbase is awesome. Um, I own Mara Holdings, stock symbol M-A-R-A. -A. Stock's up huge this morning, up uh, as much as 
and pre-market stock symbol MARA digital asset company engages in mining of cryptos focuses on Bitcoin ecosystems so these are all the shares that are inside of BKCH applied digital I own stock shares in applied digital stocks up this morning at about as much as six percent in pre-market engages in uh, development in uh, data centers computing power cloud services HPC hosting data center hosting businesses Whew. applied digital is awesome riot blockchain own stock in riot blockchain clean spark CLSK I'm gonna run a little longer today but I've got to review these stock shares so increased volatility looks like CleanSpark has halted. Oh man, that stock's been outrageous. So that's good news when you get a stock. When stock issues have to shut down the uh, volatility uh, stock because of trading volatility, that's incredible news. HUT 8, stock symbol HUT, H-U-T, like football, NFL football, HUT, HUT, let's see. Stock HUT shares are up as much as 11% this morning. Digital asset mining. So I purchase shares of these companies. And then I get to travel, you know. So I'm actually um, looking at uh, making acquisition of a boat, a significant boat. Uh, looking at a 40 to 50 meter boat. So I was at FLIBS this year, the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. And so I saw a couple of pre-owned boats. And so I might just uh, move on on board a boat. So some nice, I've looked at some nice ones that are for sale, a couple of fed ships. So I might be making acquisition of such. Then I can run my synthetic Bitcoin mining anywhere in the world that I travel on my, my yacht. Cypher mining. So I'm looking at cypher mining's up this morning. Pre-market as much as 6% operates Bitcoin mining ecosystem. So they're doing great. Own shares in Cypher Mining, stock symbol CIFR. And Canon, stock symbol CAN. Stock's up nicely this morning, about about 20%. You know, they're developing, selling Bitcoin mining machines. So I own shares in all of these companies, plus Riot Blockchain, MicroStrategy, Visa, uh, PayPal. So with that, this uh, synthetic Bitcoin mining rig that I have, it's a seven to one ratio, one unit of the blockchain ETFs that I just mentioned, BKCH and block to seven units of Bitcoin. So I combine these two together, a dollar cost average Bitcoin every day, have for the, at least the last four or five years or so, just set it and forget it, just dollar cost average or DCA. And then each week I purchase one unit of BKCH and one unit of block. So these uh, ETFs, you know, rather than purchasing the ASIC miner or the GPU miner or hard drive miners and running the server racks and the three phase electric and green energy and all that, I just outsource that to the uh, blockchain ETFs and then dollar cost averaging uh, Bitcoin. And so that's what I have. It's just incredible. Uh, so thankful. Might be going to Costco today and getting the, the prime rib roast or maybe the, uh, the ribeye roast, the whole man. So now it's time to celebrate, scaling out of some trades, taking some huge profits out of the market. And so that's what I have. Run a little longer, about 19 minutes today. But it's important to thank those that, you know, you know, like Raul Powell. I give Raul Powell a lot of credit. Michael Saylor, thank you. You know, these uh, Nova Grants did great work. So, and then uh, Paul Tudor Jones, too. So I need to, I'm very, you know, special thank, call out to some great people in their market prowess. So with that, I'm very thankful. What a day. Huge profits again in my crypto. Dogecoin, just vulgar. The amount of profit that I earned and such from negative 42% and then this epic pump that I dollar cost average into Dogecoin and then scaled out of the trade. Unreal. So with that, everyone, thanks for subscribing to my channel. Have a super awesome day. 
And remember, let the trend be your friend.